Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we're gonna be playing with a general cycle so it was <laughs> quite a while to be honest since I last time uh, played this deck but here we are back and strong and we're gonna be starting today's video against uh, Witfan if I can read that correctly who's gonna be playing uh, with uh, some kind of a steel bait, I presume a double bait that's one of the most popular variants as for now I'm gonna get my general to the tower I would actually love to get that but uh, yeah we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be trying again I'm gonna actually go right now with uh, general and super devil like this I would love to actually get my general to the tower uh, right now because uh, my opponent just overcommitted on my previous defense and I have to punish him for that I get two hits which is well uh, I expected more let me tell you that much I'm gonna get the drunkard to kill this uh, bomb girl the drunkard actually doesn't uh, enter his uh, tower area so it's gonna get way more value than it's supposed to ever and yeah, that's gonna be uh, pretty much the matchups, now the strategy. So, the strategy uh, with this deck against, uh, like, defensive decks will be... Uh, I'm gonna just cycle this one. Yeah, very cool to see that we actually agree on that. So, uh, against a Skeleton Kek, you always want to have a can because, well... can obviously attracts the Skeleton Kek, and against... Uh, Phone Kek, honestly, there are two strategies. One of them is having uh, phones, and that's my favorite one because obviously phones counter push, and uh, Footman Kek is pretty lame to counter push. With I'm gonna right now try to get some, uh, do some heavy lifting with uh, my push. I'm gonna play a flying bomb because honestly, why not? I'm gonna get a uh, Footman Kek on this one and I actually will go in again so let's let's just uh, do that I'm gonna get a heal tiny on his uh, tiny I'm gonna get some uh, footman kek on these skeletons because uh, they uh, sounded like uh, very scary and since my opponent went very aggressively he didn't have uh, sufficient mana to defend my general on the other side so usually that's uh, that's the good rule of thumb uh, with pretty much any deck that uh, you can imagine that it is a good thing to just uh, outsource your thinking uh, uh, into putting some uh, brain dead uh, offense and then focus everything uh, onto defending so that's gonna be a uh, also a strategy for this game I'm gonna go in with a uh, drunker here I'm gonna actually play a flying bomb because I figured why not I'm gonna uh, go with my uh, footman kek and I think uh, after that being played I can just uh, assure myself uh, a win uh, by playing a cannon here and flying bomb here so that's gonna be a GG nice play uh, against a steel bait I would say not the easiest matchup to play but if you know what you're doing you're gonna be most likely fine so yeah that's gonna be a good game let's jump to the game number two shall we and we're in next game against I'm the best OAT. I don't know, maybe it has deeper meaning behind, but I have no clue what he's yapping about. He's gonna be having 56 medals, and I'm gonna play just phones to get some information. Usually, as a. Okay, that. My opponent is just uh, having some troubles with internet connection. Sometimes that happens, and. Good thing that I was seeking for the information first and then uh, playing some committal decisions because my opponent will be playing Viking Bridge. So as you, as you probably can guess, Viking is pretty damn decent against uh, generals. So you don't want to like uh, headbutt it uh, first play into your opponent, uh, and you don't want to also lose your phones like this. That was a misplay and uh, I greatly apologize for that and right now we want to headbutt with a general because it's pretty much the only moment where we're gonna be allowed to play general so we absolutely have to uh, get the situation going so yeah I'm gonna play cannon against this viking and pretty much try to hold for my dear life I'm gonna get the heal tiny right here 
uh, try to get it uh, easy and going. I actually would love this Viking to get attracted to my phones. That's not gonna be the case. Also, he's playing a mirror, which is, which is first of all weird, and second of all, he's gonna be uh, playing it absolutely at the wrong time because I already had the troops sufficient to defend that. He's only playing ghost to finish off the tower. I don't think. I want to make it easy for him, so I'm gonna just play a Drunker. I know it's a negative one trade, but at the same time, if he doesn't take this tower somehow, some way, that's gonna be a very good news for me, no? I'm gonna be playing Mega uh, Super Devil though. He's gonna be playing a Necromancer, so that's uh, another sign that he's gonna be playing some kind of Oblate Bridge spam. I'm gonna play Drunker against. Uh, these twins and I think I have the sufficient counter push to just go with the general uh, in the middle and yeah that that already looks scary he's also going playing uh, cyclone so right now I get the 100% confirmation that he's playing the deck of a Chiva Che which uh, obviously right now I uh, didn't have to worry about at all whatsoever I'm gonna get my uh, fast troops onto his viking tower and end him alive because that's how the food chain works so yeah that's gonna be the game number two against a very hard matchup I would say a player with a good understanding will beat you like 8 out of 10 times, 2 out of it will be just uh, games with bad cycles. So yeah, that's gonna be game number 2. Let's jump to game number 3. And right now we're gonna be playing against Lost Control, who's gonna be having a 3.4k medals, which is quite a lot to be honest. It means that uh, we are kind of playing against a player that knows what he's doing. I'm gonna play foot, Footman Keck, even though I pretty much expect him to play some kind of a Steel Bait. It won't be that big of a deal. He's actually playing a mana collector, so I presume I have to go now. I'm gonna get my uh, drunker on his mother devil, and this general will get a lot of damage. So that was a very good trade off for me, even though I'm gonna be a uh, down in mana by a lot. Uh, I got his uh, mother devil out of the cycle, and I got a lot of damage, which. I presume is way more valuable than a, a mana advantage. I'm gonna get my phones going against this horde. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna actually pre-play the cannon because uh, I presume he's playing three gunners, and right now I'm actually, uh, I'm actually getting scared for my life because he can pretty much press the trigger uh, at any time he wants, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna be playing a Drunker here. Actually, he's gonna be playing a Cemetery, so uh, a different variant of a deck. I wouldn't say the easier or harder, just a different. I'm gonna get my Footman Keg uh, right here to clean up the uh, Skeletons. And okay, that's gonna mean that uh, he will be playing a Brute uh, Cemetery, which is pretty scary deck to go against, but the good thing I didn't waste my spells because I wouldn't be able to just defend if I did that. So yeah, that's gonna be a cool thing to see. I'm gonna go with a Drunker just to get some things going. I'm gonna get my uh, Footman Keg as well. This Brute is dead so he cannot push in. That's a uh, nice thing to know ab about like uh, cemetery decks uh, in general. Uh, if they don't have a tank, they w usually won't go in, and that's, uh, like I said, very important because uh, you obviously want to minimize the amount of cemeteries that you will have to defend in a single game. I'm gonna go with a general now because he will have to uh, defend perfectly pretty much right now. And if he doesn't, I'm gonna get a ton of value with this flying bomb. I'm gonna get a general on the tower. And uh, I'm gonna get even more spam in, and yeah, that's gonna be just the uh, game set match because he just didn't uh, hold it properly. I'm gonna get one last cannon, which um, I don't, I, it doesn't really matter, yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna just leave a GG's. I'm gonna block the tank as against the cemetery is the pretty much the best play to make, and that's gonna be GG's against very good opponent with a general control. And in the next game we're going to be against Fede Punk 97 with 
600 mils, I usually want to rather just give someone a benefit of a down rather than pull them down. So uh, if we are rounding to a full hundreds, which I do uh, while I'm uh, estimating my opponents, I usually like to round them up uh, to the full hundreds. So yeah, uh, 563 uh, uh, is definitely being run up to a uh, 600. I'm gonna right now get a general going. Uh, these splashers will absolutely obliterate my poor heal tiny. I would love this general to get a hit, but it's not gonna be too much of an issue if it doesn't, because he has wasted a rolling still on defense, which obviously had to be a commitment. I'm gonna get a super devil here. It's zero for zero trade, but at the same time I had a feeling he would stop my super devil anyway, so that wasn't that bad. I'm gonna actually get a some phones here and right now I'm gonna get a footman cake because it's gonna be like a perfect counter against everything that he has uh, thrown at me. I'm gonna play general in the back actually, uh, soaking some uh, the of the damage of a, a bomb girl. I don't really mind it because the more he spends on protecting the bomb girl, uh, the less uh, mana will he have for defending actual push. He actually doesn't support it, but uh, it seems that he's kinda leaking a bit. He's gonna actually get a missile, which is very cute uh, move to say the least. I'm gonna get my heal tiny here. I'm gonna play my false. And right now I'll have to just go for a uh, second timing. Uh, going for the Footman kick here, and he actually predicts my heal tiny, but he doesn't have troops on the board to defend uh, the super devil, which will promptly connect to the tower and deal sufficient damage to justify my previous push. So that's gonna be a very cool thing to see. I'm gonna play a uh, flying bomb on this bomb girl because I don't want to play games anymore. I mean, I, I kinda am playing a video game, but I don't want to play games against him with some tricks and stuff. Right now I'm gonna actually go in because there's no reason for me not to. I'm gonna try to bridge his uh, bomb tower like this. Uh, I'm gonna play a phone, well, foot one hack on his phones. I'm gonna get my uh, phones on his uh, phone hack, which was uh, the uh, perfect scenario for me. I'm gonna get my uh, Super Devil on his uh, Bomb Girl, if I may. And I'm gonna get a Footman Keg on his Fawn Keg. So this was a very tight uh, matchup, I would say. He played it very nicely. Uh, I would say it was just not understanding how timings work and how I just cycled uh, Generals in the back uh, uh, to get the second one. So the first uh, General wasn't the scary one. He had to just realize that and adjust his defenses. Well, sometimes that happens and he succumbed to my pressure. Yeah, let's just play one more game and after that we're gonna wrap the video up. And in this uh, last game of today's video we're gonna be playing against Madhead who has 10 medals, which uh, probably means that he uh, is only starting to play a boom arena with us. But uh, nonetheless to be said, uh, he's absolutely welcome. So he's gonna be playing a brute. That's not a win condition I expected to see, but, well, like I've said, he's free uh, to do whatever he wants. Uh, I'm gonna actually play Fawns here to distract these devils. Usually you want to get a super devil against uh, that kind of a brute push, but it, uh, it's gonna be given if brute is still alive. But it was already dead, so it was okay for me to get a little bit greedy. So yeah. That, He's gonna be playing a T-Rex in the back. So that's the perfect opportunity for me to just play Super Devil uh, and relax a bit. I'm gonna play a, a General. He's gonna actually get a uh, T-Rex to my tower, which is gonna be a bit inconvenient, but I can live with that damage. And at the same time, he wasted a poison on my Super Devil, which is obviously a plus one trait. And he played a uh, naked, uh, Naked T-Rex, so that was a another plus four. So uh, in the end, I think I'm staying pretty nice with mana. I'm gonna get my general to the tower, and that's gonna be the sufficient damage to compensate for this loss from the T-Rex. He's also gonna get his gunner going, but I don't think 
is gonna be too big of an issue. He's actually playing pretty smart uh, Brute in the back, uh, not being frustrated and trying to support his gunner. He's just resetting, he knows uh, all he really needs. It's one good push and he's gonna just try to aim for it. I'm gonna play a Drunker here. Uh, actually, my Super Devil will lock onto his... Uh, onto his uh, T-Rex, which is gonna be very uh, convenient for me. I'm gonna get a very nice shutdown uh, of the cemetery, and I actually didn't notice, but my troops are getting absolute ham on the offense, so I'm gonna just play general, and uh, I, mean, I mean, I'm not gonna capitalize on that madness anymore, but it was nice to see. Uh, this drunker will put uh, some serious work getting the uh, cannon down, so my general right now can uh, get straight to the business. Uh, this T-Rex will get one shot on this cannon, that doesn't really matter, I actually have too much mana, I'm yapping too much, I probably should have just win the game already uh, with that kind of advantages, I'm gonna get the cannon uh, faster with a, uh, with a footman, I'm gonna get this uh, brute down and that's gonna be just GG's nice plate. 1-0 uh, victory against Mad Hat. he will have to learn uh, a bit more to defeat me next time, but he didn't play that bad, it was just I didn't uh, give him any chance to attack me at all. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video with a general cycle, control, whatever you want, like it's pretty much my favorite deck in this game because it's so easy to play and if your opponent doesn't know how to defend that, it's so satisfying to just attack and get infinite damage. So yeah, that's gonna... Uh, if you want to see uh, more decks uh, posted by me in the near future, I'm gonna be obviously posting on this YouTube channel, so you don't want to miss any of that content, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you basically get notified when I get uh, another video posted. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you for watching till the end, make sure to subscribe, and uh, as always, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.